Well, Nana, you know, words right now just can't explain all the trauma and the trepidation that these tenants are going through right now. As you saw, all of that fire just destroying their homes. And tonight, this is the result. You can see the roof completely gone and pieces of the roof and even the siding just dangling off of the structure. You look through the second floor windows and all you, you'll see is the night sky. It's quiet right now, but there were people here, tenants just trying to pick up after all of the devastation but there were also people here helping them out with clothes and other items all made possible by neighbors taking action this is what residents at this apartment complex on princess anne road in norfolk woke up to this morning that is crazy man the norfolk fire department on scene putting out the flames and as daylight grew the destruction got more visible it was clear people lost their homes and their stuff but help was coming. My grandson showed it me on, on the Facebook and I, I, I responded immediately. Oh, we need to come together like this all the time and let it not be a tragedy. Me and my family started getting clothes and stuff together and then reached out to some more young ladies who was also rounding up uh, stuff. Bernard Thompson and Joseph Johnson watched the fire as it happened on Facebook Live. They took action, reached out to fellow neighbors, and within a matter of hours got clothes and more. We have people came and donated food. Uh, they donated pampers, they donated wipes, they donated uh, toothbrushes, brand new uh, toothpaste, shoes. The Norfolk Fire Department tells News 3 there were two calls this morning, one at 2 and another just after 5.30. The fire destroyed 12 apartments and left 23 people without homes. There were no fatalities and no injuries, but help was pouring in. With the corona going on and everybody talking about social distance, in spite of social distance, we still had to come together for the needs of people who are resource uh, downtrodden. News 3 also reached out to the Red Cross. We're told they're providing tenants resources to find temporary housing and will continue to work with them. And so will Thompson and Johnson. You just lost everything, you know, and for to have people to just come out here and willing to just set up a little spot for you to come actually get stuff for your family, that's a great thing because you didn't ask for it.